Time to go explore in Schlange and in Schloti. Excited! <laughs> We have come to Mshloti first. It's a small little coastal town that is five minutes away from our Airbnb. We are directly in the middle of Mshlanga and Mshloti. So we came to Mshloti first. All of these hotels, oh, there are so many hotels all along this beach here for you to choose from. And this is the beach. I came to Mshloti years ago with a friend of mine and one thing I remember was how coarse the sand is on this beach. It hurt us when we ran. I just want to show you what the sand looks like. Nonetheless, it's still super beautiful. So Mshlange is about a 10 kilometer drive from Schlotzi where we were earlier and we've come to the Cabana Beach because Clary is craving some wimpy. So this is a very famous Mshlange hotel, one of the original hotels and it's where all the youngsters when they finish school come to stay. So yeah we've had lots of fun memories in this place. Anyway let's check out the hotel and have some food. Hello, hello. Hello. Seems like they've got a bit of a market going on here with all the local delegates. Hello, baby. Thank you. Just for reference, I can't speak Zulu fully, only a few words. So I didn't catch anything that guy said, but he was such a nice guy. He pointed this way, so we're just going. <laughs> I love the people in South Africa, they are the best. It's what I want, it's what I do. Okay. If you watched our previous vlog when we were driving from Johannesburg down to KZN, we were looking for a wimpy, but we uh, couldn't find one. Now we finally found a wimpy and if you know me I freaking love wimpy and I believe that a road trip is not a road trip without wimpy. Ooh, sorry we distracted, there's a beautiful little bird here. He's a naughty, he wants to come eat something. What do you want fellow? Anyway. Uh, so we're yeah. finally having our wimpy here at the Cambana beach. Oh my gosh it's beautiful here. Look at this forest behind us, it feels so nice. Yeah. COVID regulations. I love me a wimpy. 
Wimpy never disappoints. It's like McDonald's. It's just always consistent and always delicious. And it's healthier than McDonald's. So if you're in South Africa, please try Wimpy. Because Mine's not that healthy today. Okay, yeah, Red got the burger special today. I got a brekkie. But yeah, we're gonna eat this and then go down to the beach. So excited! I'll have to have, oh. a, run. I'll have, to have a run on the beach after this actually. Not <laughs> just walk down there. <laughs> oh, and I just wanted to show you guys, instead of bacon, I ordered a beef burravos. Which is a beef sausage here in South Africa. It's one of our most popular meals. We always have a braai with burravos, a barbecue. It's hard to translate all these South African words. And let me just cut it for you guys. That's what it looks like. Delicious! We are on Umschlange Pier. There's so many people here, it's so busy. There's little food stands and restaurants all along here and the beach looks very rough but there's still people out there swimming and having a good time. Loving it. Once again this is another beach town with so many hotels for you to choose from right here on the beach. Our favorites are Cabana Beach, the Sands Hotel and then the Oyster Box which is the most beautiful hotel. Hopefully we can get going there now and show you guys around. First, enjoy this drone footage of this beautiful town. Sand is very different to Mshloti sand. This one's a bit finer. Let me quickly show you. So it would seem that uh, bathing and going on the beach at all at the moment is banned. That's what all the signs say, but the lifeguards are here. There's some people in the water and there's some people bathing. So not too sure what the current rules are. Guys, this boardwalk along Mshlanga Beach is unbelievably beautiful and some of these hotels, it's super fancy. What do you think, love? Amazing! Yeah! <laughs> uh, yeah, this reminds me a little bit of Nha Chang in Vietnam with the boardwalk, but it's a little nicer to be honest. <laughs> very, very cool. Sorry Vietnam, but I think we win the boardwalk competition. <laughs> Yeah. Amazing! Well, after a quick stop at the mall, there's a really impressive mall here in Mshlanga called Gateway. You can find everything your heart desires. Uh, but yeah, that's it. We're gonna head home and then later on go for some sundowners, although there's no sun shining at the moment. <laughs> but we'll be going to Belito, so stay tuned. Okay, so we have come now to another coastal town called Belito. We're having dinner here. I'm very excited, hoping to get like a warm, hearty meal somehow. We'll be coming to a place called the Lifestyle Center in Belito. And we are meeting up with a South African couple that we met via Instagram. They are YouTubers too. They've just started their journey. So making new friends. Excited. Good morning. We are so excited. And do you know why? This is why. Yay! This is 
sun is out and it's blue blue skies. Woohoo! So we finally get to put our sunglasses on today and head out for a bit of a hike. And hopefully we find the beach somewhere down there. decided to put Rhett in the front because I'm getting a bit paranoid about getting lost in this forest. In case of emergency, please call this number. I'm going to take a photo of it just in case. You never know what could happen. There's no dangerous animals in here, but just, just, just some snakes probably. Okay, so this is called Sibaya Coastal Forest Reserve and it is one of the last remaining indigenous coastal forests in the world in KZN. in KZN so it's a very special place so happy to be here how big this forest is it is huge it's 300 hectares in total so it's actually pretty big you know we're on our way down hopefully we can find the beach careful <laughs> I don't think it's like held up. <laughs> well done. <laughs> this is a little eerie. Looks like this path is like overgrown. Luckily I've got a geographer with me, so if we get lost, he'll be able to navigate us back home. What? Look at this! The birds sound lovely though, so it makes it special. We're lost. The previous sign said right beach. We took it and it's come all the way back. I don't know why. So just looked at the map here which we filmed earlier on. And it looks like we are like here. So we're gonna get back on this purple one and get to the yellow one and then go back to the red one. So back on the purple one we go. Okay, so this is the red path, and this is the path that goes to the beach. That's where we went wrong. The sign doesn't say beach, but it, if you read on the map, the red path oh. does go to the beach. So, okay. holding thumbs, we get there. So, follow the colors, not the signs, if you ever come here. Oh, 
two buck poles footprints. We haven't seen one yet. Oh, we're close. We can see the ocean. lovely time on this beach we're actually not sure what the name of it is we'll show it on a map now it's directly in between Mshloti and Mshlanga it's a quiet beach it's beautiful um, yeah highly recommend coming here we found a tick on Red's foot so hopefully he doesn't get tick bite fever a bit worried about that honestly but nonetheless it's beautiful here it's all about relaxing on the beach in the sun and just chilling. <sighs> Can confirm that if you are unfit like me, it's quite a steep climb back up. <laughs> I'm struggling, <laughs> but it's all beautiful. Let's just hope I make it up to the top alive. Five minutes later, and we're back. Oh, we totally took the wrong way down. <laughs> awesome. So it's not that strenuous if you follow the red colors down to the beach. We're back. There's only one thing left to do. So happy to finally have a nice beautiful sunny day. This is what it's normally like here in Durban. Yep, so when you come over here you'll probably most likely get this kind of weather and not the overcast weather, overcast, windy, rainy weather that we got. So don't let that put you off. It's always like this really. Blue skies, warm weather, not too hot. Sometimes it gets pretty humid but that's okay. For dinner is crown of india we really just want indian food for dinner tonight so it looks awesome oh i am very excited for some indian food i love it so much how are you are you excited too i am i'm just gonna ask for extra extra mild extra extra mild please uncle i think we're gonna go with a paratha and maybe a chicken butter chicken or something like that clary's thinking maybe she'll get a roti We've also been enjoying a biryani these days, which is really good. We normally get that from our local Indian store in Parkhurst. Quick look at the menu shows me that prices here are a lot cheaper than in Johannesburg. Butter chicken here is 90 instead of 130 rand. Mm. First course has arrived. I went with a chicken korma. Looking delicious, smelling fantastic. Clearly got a chicken curry roti and a masala tea. So, yeah, yummy. Next up we have a suji, which is made from tasty wheat and I think syrup of some kind. And then we've got a feluda here. I had a sip already, it's delicious. Is it like milk? Oh, that's good. Okay, so in the feluda is fresh milk, ice cream, rose syrup, vermicelli cooked with a bit of saffron, and I think soja seeds. Not chia seeds, they look like chia seeds, but apparently they're soja seeds. And it is such a good, good balance between sweet and savory. It's not overly sweet. You'd expect it to taste like a strawberry milkshake that's like really, really sweet. It's not. It's actually really, really pleasant. And then this is suji. Suji is tasty wheat cooked with milk. And it's got sugar in it and semolina. 
so good. It's a good mixture between like savory and a little bit sweet. I really like it. That was amazing and it was totally affordable. So plus plus plus. Loved it. Highly recommend Crown of India. Oh sorry. Help me! And just to clarify to my family members who are worried about my stomach, I did ask for extra mild and I stayed away from the dairy things. So just to let you know fam. Uh, now we can finally finish the video, end it off here. We hope you guys enjoyed it. We thoroughly enjoyed our time in Amshlanga, but we're so excited to spend the day in Durban doing a cultural tour tomorrow, so stay tuned. Anyway, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Goodbye. Because can you believe in the translation? No, but I'm going to cry. Yes. <laughs> so this house, welcome. Welcome, everyone.